What's going on, my New Orleans sports family? As always, I'm your boy, o, and today our New Orleans Saints falls to the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in a miserable game for our New Orleans Saints fan base. Now, look, before we get into this, do your boy owe one major favor. If you believe in getting loud and also you got to fight, that means you love talking about the Saints, you love talking about the Pelicans, so we have something in common. So why don't you hit that subscribe button? And after you hit that subscribe button, make sure you hit that notification bell. And don't forget to hit that like button. To help me out with the algorithm, baby. Now, let's get into this topic, ladies and gentlemen. Last week when our New Orleans Saints lost to the Green Bay Packers, I felt as if they lost that game because the win had been taken out of the team because Derek Carr departed with an injury and he probably felt as if he was gone for the whole season. So I kind of excused them on that loss. However, this week, this week, the only people we have to blame is Derek Carr, the wide receivers, and Pete Carmichael. Now look, I am all about giving credit when it's due. However, if you're going to get the credit, you also got to get the criticism. Derek Carr was off this game. He wasn't on cue with his wide receivers, and his wide receivers wasn't on cue with him. If you go back and you look at a lot of the replays, it seems like these guys wasn't really, really putting no energy into their routes, right? And it seems as if the Bucks defenders was able to stay step by step with our receivers the whole game. So it kind of made it tough for Derek Carr. However, he did have some bad decisions. I saw one play where he had a guy wide open in the middle of the field and he missed him. He tried to force it to double coverage. Thank God it wasn't picked off. But hey, you got to do better than that, Derek Carr. We're two and two right now. Two and two. The sky is not black at this very moment. But hey, the season is running out very quick. Now, I gave the Saints a 11, no, I'm sorry, 16 and 1 record. But hey, I'm still kind of leaning towards that 11 and 5, right? 11 and 7, yeah, 11 and 6, 11 and 6 record, like that. And let's get to these wide receivers. You guys, you guys, when you look at the Bucks play, how is it that the Tampa Bay Buccaneers wide receivers could get separation, but you cannot get any? Every time Derek Carr throws the ball, there's no separation. Why is it that all of the games that we played so far this season, it seems as if other wide receivers finds a way to get wide open? Come on, you guys got to step it up. I ain't got much to say about the offensive line. I think that they did a better job this game, which is why I was looking forward to Derek Carr playing much better than what he had did today. Right. Pete Carmichael. Your play calling is getting a little old, my guy. The reason why the Bucks was there on every play is because they saw it all before. That's why, right, ladies and gentlemen, we're doing the same things that we was doing last year, the year before, the year before that, the year before that, bring back Drew Brees, the year before that, the year, we're doing the same things. You got to switch it up, my guy. You got to switch it up, and when it comes down to trick plays, there's a right and wrong time to call them. Today, you call a trick play, and it costs the Saints. It costs the Saints. It also seems as if Derek Carr plays better when his plays are not scripted. Right? I, I, I don't know if you guys have noticed that or not, but it seems like when the plays are not scripted for Derek Carr, he seems to be a little better. You know, like the hurry-up offense, one-minute drills, right? You know, uh, the, the sky is starting to fall and the game is almost over. You got to go up the field, no huddle. That seems to be Derek Carr's strength. Now, when it comes down to our defense, you guys did good for 75% of this game, but I'm not going to get on you guys at all. You played tremendous, right? Of course, something's going to give when you're on the field all the time, right? All of the time you're on the field. There's an hour of football, right? Out of that hour of football, the defense might have been on the field for 40 minutes. They are tired, ladies and gentlemen. So when it comes down to what we need to change, we need to change our execution on offense because at this very moment, the offense is what's holding this team back. That's all we need is this offense to turn the corner and we there, baby. That's all. So right now, they need to get back to the drawing board and try to understand how to score 
points because that's the only way you're going to win in this NFL. Now, don't take this rant as I hate my team. No, I love my team, right? As you can see on this channel, I'm always positive about the Saints, which is why I'm about to leave on a positive note. This team is only 2-2 two and two at this very moment. So at this very moment, we don't need to be panicking, right? There's a lot of football left. 13 games, ladies and gentlemen, 13 games left. So there's plenty of time, but the Saints has to fix what they have problems with going for it.